Hi guys, uh, it's good to see you again. My face is all messed up right now, but that's what I get for going to the dermatologist and having him take care of little precancers and things. Anyway, it's getting really closer to Thanksgiving and I'm remembering the best Thanksgiving I ever had was when I was visiting you guys in Taiwan. Stanley, you were a little, little kid back then. You may not remember it, but that dinner that your mom and dad took me out to in, in Taipei, that was the best thing. Don't tell anybody, but that was the best Thanksgiving I ever had. Anyway, we got a Thanksgiving story this time called Setting the Turkeys Free. Why not? So let's get my keyboard out of the way. Open up the book called Setting the Turkeys Free. And it says, let's see here. i got to get over here. Come see. My dog and I are making a turkey. First, I put my hand in paint. Then I spread my fingers apart and press my hand onto a big piece of paper. When I lift my hand, see the boys doing that? I saw a picture of you recently with paint on your hands and feet too. Maybe you could do something like this. Look, there's a turkey. The thumb is the head. The palm is the body. The fingers are the feathers. They look like a tail. Now all it needs are some legs and feet. I know I could use toothpicks. See? Look at that. Turn the page. See? Now my turkey can walk. <laughs> Look at that. It's got little feet and toothpicks. Hey, not so fast. I still need to decorate you. Here's some fun, shiny things. Now my turkey is beautiful, but all alone. See that? Look at his dog named Foxy and his turkey. So, and you'll like this, Stanley. So I make another one, and another, and another, until I have lots of turkeys. I love my turkeys. Look at them all. They're really cool little turkeys, huh? And they're simple to make. To keep my turkeys safe, I make a pen out of popsicle sticks. Now they can run around in their own little yard. Uh-oh, a storm is coming, and what's that I see? Foxy the fox. Where did he come from? See, there's the pen for his turkey. Yeah. Go away, Foxy the fox. You're frightening my turkeys. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Go away. Gobble, gobble. Shoo. These turkeys look scared, huh? He's making up his own little story out of things that he made. That's fun. Huh? Gobble, 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 gobble. Gobble, gobble, gobble. They're all scared of the fox. What does the fox say? Hmm? Look. Over here. Foxy the fox can't believe his eyes. The turkeys are hiding behind each other. To him, they look like one big fat turkey dinner. <laughs> Look at all of those turkeys in there. And they're hiding behind each other. No, Foxy the Fox, you can't have my turkeys. But what should I do? I know. I make a fist, smear it in the paint, and press it onto the paper, right in front of Foxy the Fox. There. Try getting over that big bumpy rock. Hmm, he's creative, huh? He made his own little roadblock. Oh no, Foxy the Fox is climbing over the rock. I have to save my turkeys. Quickly, I unlock the gate and push it open, setting the turkeys free. See, there goes the turkeys. There they go, right out the gate. 
And all of this is things that he's creating as he goes. He's drawing these things. Now there's not a turkey in sight. Hmm, says Foxy. Ha! Take that, you mean old fox. There'll be no turkey dinner for you today. But now I miss my turkeys. See, they're all gone. They're safe somewhere, but they're all gone. So, I cover the rock with grass and put little pieces of corn on the ground uh, inside the turkey pen and hope that someday my turkeys will come home to me. Yeah, <laughs> popcorn no less. <laughs> That's pretty good. And they do.